In the movie, gods once protected Earth through powerful knights. These knights fought using a special energy called Cosmo. After years of peace, people forgot about the gods. Eighteen years later, the goddess is reborn as a human girl, and a street boy named Seiya discovers his own Cosmo power. As dangerous enemies close in, Seiya must choose between protecting the goddess and finding his missing sister. Will he become a brave knight? At the beginning of the movie, it showed that when gods ruled the earth, the goddess promised to care for her people and protect them always. To do this, she used her power called Cosmo to create knights, who were guards meant to protect the people. These knights fought enemies using the goddess's Cosmo power and easily defeated them. However, as time went by, people forgot about the gods and goddesses, treating them like fairy tales as if they had never existed. Eighteen years later, the same goddess was born again in human form. A golden knight sacrificed his life to save the girl's life. In the present day we meet a boy named Seiya, who lives on the streets because he has no home. He constantly thinks of his missing sister and spends his time searching for her. One day, as he sat looking at her picture, a man who owned a fighting ring approached him and told him it was time for him to fight. Seiya began heading toward the ring, but the owner stopped him and warned him to fight seriously, saying that his opponent was strong and brave. The fight had no rules, and it would only end when someone gave up. Seiya entered the ring and kicked the other man, sending him flying back. Then the owner turned to Seiya, grabbed him by the neck and hit him several times before delivering a strong kick that sent Seiya flying as well. As Seiya tried to attack, the ring owner grabbed him like a child and threw him from a distance. He was punishing Seiya for not following his orders to fight properly, despite being told to do so. Seiya was too injured to fight back. Seiya, still hurt, tried to gather his strength, thinking of his sister. As he focused on her, something changed inside him, and suddenly, a lot of Cosmo power began to flow from his body. This power was so strong that the ring owner was thrown far away. The owner got back on his feet, but Seiya stayed down. The crowd declared the owner the champion, as it seemed he had won the fight. However, Seiya got up and kicked the owner hard, sending him flying. After this, Seiya ran him and knew everything about his past, even about his missing sister. He offered to help Seiya find her. Meanwhile, the ring owner called someone and mentioned that he had met a boy with Cosmo power. Seiya was taken to a dark place where he met a businessman who was also a warrior. The businessman told Seiya about a war and shared that his wife Vander was powerful and had many warriors with great strength. She had gone down the wrong path and because of this, he had left her. Now she and her soldiers were coming to fight him, and Seiya had to decide if he would stand on the right side. Seiya chose to support him but Vander's soldiers soon arrived causing destruction. They were extremely powerful, and it was difficult to stop them. At that moment, a pilot appeared and rescued them. He shot at the soldiers, put Seiya and the businessman into a car, and drove them away from danger. The enemies launched missiles to stop them and capture Seiya. The enemy's goal was to catch him because they had seen Cosmo power coming from him that day. They entered a tunnel to escape, but more bullets and large missiles were fired to stop them. Somehow they managed to escape again. Seiya was confused and didn't understand what was happening, so he asked Vander's husband about it. The man told his pilot to make Seiya unconscious. As Seiya passed out, he had a vision of his sister. He remembered when he was a small child, his sister hid him in a closet and told him to stay inside, no matter what. As she was closing the door, there was an explosion, and the closet door shut on its own. Soon after, many soldiers entered the house with bombs and took Seiya's sister away. In his vision, Seiya also saw Vander. When Seiya woke up, he found himself on a plane with Vander's husband and the pilot. Seiya was confused and wanted answers. Vander's husband began explaining, saying that he was a warrior, but before that, he was a very rich businessman. He showed Seiya some old things and told him about the first goddess, whose second birth was in human form. He said it was now Seiya's duty to protect the goddess in human form because Seiya was brave and had to become her guardian. Seiya didn't believe it at first, and he was about to leave, but when the man mentioned his sister, Seiya stopped. The warrior explained that Vander and her soldiers had kidnapped Seiya's sister because they sensed a cosmic signal from their house. Seiya's sister had hidden him in the closet to protect him from Vander. The warrior then introduced Seiya to his daughter, Sienna, who was the human form of the god in an armor locket. The armor was a powerful metal suit that covered the whole body. Sienna gave this to Seiya because without it, he couldn't defeat Vander's soldiers. Even though Seiya still found it hard to believe, the 
Meanwhile, Vander went to the ring owner with her special man and scolded him for letting Saya escape. Saya, Sienna, and her father, the warrior, sat down at the table and enjoyed a meal together. Sienna admired Saya for how he ate every bit of his food without wasting any. Saya explained that since he lived on the street cosmic power, meanwhile, the ring owner was battling one of the ring owner was strong, but not strong enough to defeat Saya. She decided to use her new advanced armor to change the situation. As Saya and Sienna continued talking, Sienna recalled a time Knight then told him to break a small stone in front of him. Saya tried to break it with his fist but ended off and feel his cosmo power. Saya tried, but thought Vander's building, the new technology had been used on the ring owner, and the results were fine and started screaming. Her dad came rushing in for Knight's words affected Saya, and he started fighting more bravely. His training improved every day. He often thought of his sister, who told him that she would always protect him in good and bad times. One night, the Silver Knight told Saya to set aside his painful past and be ready for the right. His hit sent her flying, which made Saya happy. He also managed to break a stone easily. With hard work, he gained full control over his Cosmo power. One day he hit a big stone, breaking it into dust. His locket flew into the air, expanding into a large armor that slowly covered Saya's body. As his cosmic power emerged, he became a brave knight. Suddenly, Saya housed to get answers. The pilot and army tried to stop him, but Sina grabbed his hand and took him away on a bike. She explained that her dad only wanted to help Saya's sister, since she couldn't control her cosmo power as a child. She revealed that her mom, Vander, lost her hand because of her cosmo power. She learned the goddess had returned. Saya's sister had hidden his true power all along. Soon after Vander's army of soldiers blocked his way, and a fierce battle began. Vander met with her husband, and Saya and Sena arrived. The owner of the ring, now robotic, started fighting Vander's husband, overpowering him easily. He threw him against the wall repeatedly, knocking him unconscious. Outside, Sena fought Vander's soldiers, defeating them one by one. The ring owner soon fought Saya, but Saya couldn't activate his armor. Despite his best efforts, the ring owner overpowered him. The pilot defeated the soldiers and escaped in his plane, while Vander's husband, in a last effort, set off explosions to stop Vander. But it was in vain. The explosion killed him, and Saina was captured. Vander, feeling conflicted, prepared to kill her daughter to save humanity. But as Saya regained consciousness and realized Saina was missing, he became determined to save her. He remembered the Silver Knight's lessons and vowed to protect Saina and his sister. He joined forces with the pilot and went to rescue Saina. As they neared Vander's building, enemy soldiers fired at them, forcing Saya to jump from the plane. He successfully activated his armor, landed safely and fought the soldiers. Saya then faced the ring knight. Her trusted ally, who was a knight, revealed his true form and killed Vander's soldiers with ease. He had once been strong but had grown weak due to demons. After defeating the soldiers, he confronted Vander. Though she tried to fight back, he easily overpowered her. At that moment, Saya intervened, stopping him from killing Vander. They fought fiercely, their cosmic power causing destruction all around them. Buildings crumbled under the force of their blows, and explosions filled the air, but neither of them backed down. Vander regained consciousness and used the last of her power to stop the deadly process. Meanwhile, Sina, now fully awakened as the goddess, rose into the air, her power uncontrollable. She threw the knight away and called out to Saya, reminding him of his promise to stop her if she ever lost control. Saya approached Sayina, telling her they could change their destiny. Moved by his words, Sina cried and managed to regain control, stopping the goddess from taking over. With peace restored, Saya helped her regain consciousness, and Sayina went to see her mother, Vander. Vander apologized for not trusting her daughter, and Sayina forgave her. She used her powers to heal her mother, ensuring Vander would.